ladies and gentlemen, the price of spark plugs are getting so high and so out of hand. I literally saw an NGK spark plug, like an official OEM or Honda, whatever, Briggs and Stratton, and it was like $10. I remember only when I started this about eight years ago, 10 years ago, spark plugs were like three bucks. They were like the cheapest things you could buy. And now even the cheap aftermarket ones you get on Amazon, the ones that everybody hates that still technically work, those are like $5. So I thought, and people, honestly, they change their spark plugs too often. You don't need to change them as much as people think you do, only when they really stop working. So I thought, hey, they sell this tool at Harbor Freight that cleans your spark plugs. Why not try it out, see if it works, and go from there. So I bought that tool, and we're going to hook it up, install it on the wall, clean some spark plugs, and check it out from there, see if they look better. I know they're going to work because they worked before. The customer just wants them changed. But if I can clean them out, reuse them, hey, all the better. Save the customer a little money, and everybody's happy. And just to let you guys know, we'll be doing a giveaway on this. So all you got to do is leave a comment down below, and I'll give away one of these spark plug cleaners. So, like I said, if you're in the U.S., just leave a comment down below. And for the March video, at the end of the month, we'll do a giveaway, and we'll give away one of these cleaners. So let's get into the tool, see what it comes with, and get it going. So right off the bat, I already opened it, and everything it comes with is I bought this separately. You could buy this, too. It's like $8. But you buy this right here, and I didn't know it came with some powder because I didn't read it. I just wanted to try it. So it comes with powder. We'll use that, and we'll save this stuff, even though this stuff looks a little more, like, made for cleaning. Eh, it might be the same stuff. Just different to tell in this bag. So it comes with the powder. comes with the net to catch the dust, the clamp, the machine itself, and an instruction manual. Now, I already went through the instruction manual. It wants it mounted up on the wall like this. And when you're cleaning, you put the spark plug in there and you push this button to clean it. And you can use this. This opens up this little valve in here, allowing more air to come through there. So for more aggressive cleaning. And I already put some plumber's tape on here. So now what I think we're going to do is we're going to mount it on the wall, fill it up. I got a few spark plugs to test. You can tell this one. Has some pretty black on it. Now, it's not going to be able to clean up this. This is one of those cheap ones. But it will do the job and clean this up, which is what we're looking for. We're going to see how good that does. I'm thinking right here is a good place to mount it. I'll have easy reach. I can put the spark plug in. I can attach my air hose and all that other fun stuff. And do note that this does not come with any kind of mounting screws. So to be honest, I'm just going to use these drywall screws here, which I use for everything. And it's not like you're going to be putting torque down on this or any kind of pressure. So it doesn't need a lot. It's not like a vise or anything or like a bench grinder. So it doesn't need to be 100% absolutely, you know, drill a hole put a nut and a bolt in there and really mount it just some screws will do for this you know eyeball level it that's fine that's on there perfect now that we got it mounted up the instructions say to take our material here and we're going to load it in the bottom chamber now how they wanted you to do this while it's sideways like this i do not know we're going to do the best we can here. And worst comes to worst, what we can do is pour some in the bag here. Just like that. And now what we'll do is we'll put on this clamp. I'll put it over the bag first. I just put that whole thing in there. You know what, we'll just actually put the bag on first, and then we'll put the clamp over it. There we go. And I will just lower that into that bottom chamber from the bottom of the bag. Nothing's coming out, so that's good. I will tighten up this clamp a little bit. Let 
That should do it. Now, my air compressor probably needs to air up, so I'm going to cut it, air up my air compressor, and then we'll connect the hose. Okay, now that my air compressor is all warmed up, we're going to put this on. I lowered the PSI to 90. Uh, actually, I lowered it to like 60. If I, need, if I need more pressure, I'll go raise the pressure. That's funny. Just a second ago, I wasn't getting no leaks, and now I'm getting a leak. So what I'll do is I'll just unscrew this, put some more plumber's tape on it, put it back in, see if it's leaking. I always go super liberal with the plumbing tape. I don't think it's going to hurt nothing to put a little extra on there. We'll get that bad boy in there nice and tight. I just realized I never actually tightened it up before. I just put it on there. I got a spark plug here that has actually a pretty decent amount of carbon on there. So we'll see how well it cleans that. I still hear a tiny whisper of air. And it's sealed. Perfect. So here's my spark plug. You can see the blackness on the top. Now, this doesn't screw in. It just pushes in. I think that's because it's made to fit smaller spark plugs, which I don't have any. Oh, here's a thin one. This goes like on a Honda, or it says Ryobi on it. Uh, that's very loose fit. Sorry about that phone call. Yeah, but the Ryobi, you may have to hold it down a little bit, but it should still work. But I don't think it would work on, like, this little spark plug that I have here. Look at this little guy. If you guys know what this is used for, let me know in the comments, because I haven't found a reason for it. Oh, maybe. It, it sits on there. Yeah, I guess you can hold it down. God only knows how much these little ones are. It seems like the smaller a product, the more expensive it is. But let's try this one. Like I said, you can kind of just twist it in a little bit, but most of the time it just pushes in. So I've never used this before, so we're going to find out. We're going to see how loud it sounds and put on some safety glasses, and we'll get right into it. We're going to push the button, and we're on the normal one, not the open one. Now we're going to open it up a little bit. It doesn't sound like that much of a difference. I don't know how long it said to leave it on for. We do got some dust coming out, but nothing too crazy. Let's take a peek at it. Well, you can see it is doing its job. It is getting it clean. I'm going to raise the pressure up on my air compressor. Now we'll see what it sounds like and how it runs. Open. I am liking that. It is missing a little bit of where it needs to go. So let me raise the pressure one more time to about 90, which is what it's called for. And we'll hear how it sounds now. I don't want to go too crazy. Okay, let me turn off my air compressor. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Now, the thing of it is, though, is it did clean off all that carbon. We get more like that matte finish, that sandblasted finish. I guess you could, if you wanted to, take it on a polisher and polish it up. Let's try one more spark plug here. I got another one here. 
We'll put this one aside. You can tell that that's absolutely black. Getting close here, see if it focuses. And let's get this one on the cleaner. That's about 20 seconds. And for 20 seconds, you can tell from that side it's nice and good. Let's open it up now for the aggressive. That was about 20 seconds on the aggressive side. And I mean, it, it does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. I figured after you're done, you can take a little Dremel, wire it, finish up the small details. But other than that, I think I think that'd be reusable. I mean, I, I, the black wasn't a problem to begin with, but just give it a quick cleaning, give it a quick blowout, and then go back to business. You know what I mean? Here's one that's not even that bad. Just has some buildup on the electrode. About five seconds in there. And it's getting it. I don't know. I think I'm liking it. I think, I think I'll use this for now on. But what I was saying before is you can, if you wanted to, and this is just, you know, how bored you are and how much money you want to save personally. Again, most of the time, spark customers will be buying spark plugs for you to put them on rather than you having to do this. But if you could save the customer money and use some time for your own stuff, you could take a little, I like this Bauer Dremel, has real low speeds, they're real high speeds. It's just a nice little hand one. It feels like a pencil. And you can, if you look right there, on that ceramic part, get a wire wheel brush. You're going to see this is going to make it nice and shiny, too, other than that um, sandblasted finish. Get right in there to the electrode. I'm on a real low speed. Raise it up a little bit. And you've seen this one before was all black. I'll get into each one of those little threads there. Clean off the threads. Till it's all shiny all around. Now, to be honest, look at that. That looks like a new spark plug now. So maybe start it in the machine and finish it with one of those finishing dribbles. But look at that. Now you put some polish on there. Shit, this will be a brand new Denso spark plug. I gotta say, I do like it. And for those of you guys that don't know, it just rained here. Look at this. Oh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, I'll do a giveaway on this. It is a cool tool. I think I will use it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said, if you guys want to enter, just leave a comment down below. And at the end of the month, I'm going to do for the rest of the year, two giveaways a year or two giveaways a month. So I think it'd be pretty cool. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Don't forget to do all that fun stuff. Like and subscribe. And adios.